Hello YouTube, good morning. Today we are headed out to the Sunshine Coast, which is about a 45 minute ferry ride from Horseshoe Bay Terminal, mm -hmm. um, just outside of Vancouver. So it's an awesome weekend trip if you live in the Vancouver area or if you're visiting. The ferry ticket is only about, what, $65? Yeah, you only so. pay one way, so it's about, yeah. If you get like the saver, the cheaper options, it could be as low as yeah, 60, 50 bucks. We are going for three days. We're staying at the Back Eddy Resort. Yeah, it's this cute little resort kind of up near the uh, end of the first, little, I guess, branch of the Sunshine Coast. Uh, they have uh, a bunch of cabins, they have some cool like geodesic domes you can stay in as well as like an inn with some more uh, normal like, kind of hotel-ish suites. We are staying in, uh, they're called vintage cabins, so it's... The rustic cabins. Yeah, rustic cabins, <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's an old kind of style wood A-frame cabin, it's got a wood stove, a uh, little kitchenette, and you know, all the regular amenities, like it has a bathroom, a shower, all that stuff too, but... Cody is very excited for the wood burning stove. Very excited. It's all he's really talked mm -hmm. about for the last few weeks is how excited he is to yeah. burn wood. It's true. I'm very excited to burn some wood. We're having a little bit of a romantic yeah. getaway and also a little bit of a digital detox. Mm -hmm. Spending some time in nature and showing you some of the awesome stops on the road trip up to... Skookumchuk? Skookumchuk. 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 <laughs> Hello everyone. We've just stopped off here at Mount Daniel. Just gonna do a little hike. It's a pretty short one. It's about two hours round trip, only about 4K, two up, two down. Kinda seems like we're the only ones on the trail today. It's pretty nice and quiet. We're gonna do that and then head up to Back Eddy. So we will see you at Back Eddy. <laughs> We are out on the Sunshine Coast. This is our second day here. We got to Gibson's and our first stop was at the public market. We went in and checked out some of the shops there. It was super cute and the building itself was just really nice. We stopped at a little cafe where I got a London Fog and then we walked up the entire seawalk on the way back. We drove uh, all the way out to Mount Daniel, which is next on our way up before we headed to Back Eddy. It was really nice, nice short hike, great views for uh, the time we had and stuff. It was awesome. We arrived at Back Eddy. Um, we were staying in one of the cabins here. We found out we were also the only ones staying here because there was no other cars or anything. So yeah, we got the key to our cabin, opened it up, and we were definitely like blown away. The Wolverine stove kept the, the cabin nice and toasty all night long. Hello, YouTube. Today we're going to the Skookum Chuck Narrows. I uh, see the rapids, which is just a trail about an hour and a half from the uh, resort. It's where the tides kind of meet the, yeah. the end of the inlet, and it yeah. turns into some really cool um, whirlpools. Mm, so it's really cool, and each time they, they tell you at the resort, there's like a time schedule where there's supposed to be like XL, which I guess is like the, the best, most yeah. intense one. So when you're, if you come here and just ask them, they'll tell you today it's at 1.52, so we're going to get there. Mm. It's raining a little bit. Yep. Uh, we had a slight near-death experience on the way <laughs> in here. We ran into a dog that we, well, from far away, we were walking on the road. Uh, we 100% thought it was a wolf. It was a large husky. It was so, a very large husky. Yeah. Um, it was completely white. We thought it was a wolf. We had pulled out the bear mace. Had it ready. ready it. Clip off. Everything was ready to go. And I had the dog. <laughs> the last, like, maybe like 10 steps before it got here, Rochelle was like, Oh, does a collar. Oh, thank God, because that dog almost got bear maced. Yeah, I was petting him. He was actually pretty friendly. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's raining a bit, so we're going to head on the trail, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. We're actually just about to head out and go to the pub, which is right on the resort marina. It's right down by the water. I've heard like nothing but good things about it, so we're both really excited to go down there. And after a long day out in the rain and the cold, we're excited to have a nice hot uh, burger and some fries, maybe and some onion rings. Um, nice craft beer. They have lots of craft beers on tap, some wine and stuff. So we're gonna go do that, maybe play some pool, and just have a nice kind of quiet, cozy evening while the storm's happening. You heard that there was like kind of spotty service. You weren't really sure what to expect with that, but they have Wi-Fi. Yeah. The Wi-Fi is really strong, so mm -hmm. you'd be able to kind of like watch movies on the mm -hmm. iPad before bed. Even though we're in the woods, we're trying not to really mm -hmm. use our phones that much. And then tomorrow we're kind of probably just gonna wake up, have a nice breakfast, and then head out and maybe do some stuff around Seashell. I definitely recommend checking out the Back Eddy Resort Highly if you are looking it. for kind of like a cozy cabin mm -hmm. getaway on the Sunshine Coast. It was decently affordable, especially compared to other kind of similar mm -hmm. resorts in the area. The staff has been like really nothing but friendly. They're super communicative. They even like, you know, brought us extra coffee and extra 
their firewood. It was super nice. The resort itself is really cute. It's never going to be too busy because there's really only the six big cabins on this side and then a couple on the other side as well as the geodesic domes. But yeah, it's really not like overly crowded or busy. And there's also a communal fire pit. So in the summer when there is more people here, we can kind of gather down at the fire pit and just hang out together. There's also an amazing ocean view. So you can see the ocean right now from where we're looking, yeah. uh, wake up to it and have like our coffee in front of like the water, which is awesome. Definitely recommend checking out the Back Eddy Resort if you are planning a little getaway to the mm -hmm. Sunshine Coast. If you're gonna come, uh, definitely try and get the ones with the kitchenette and the wood burning fireplace yes. because it's the same price and why would you not want a beautiful wood burning fireplace. Hope this was super helpful and please leave us a comment if you are, have questions about the yes. resort or just the Sunshine Coast in general. Hello, we are here at uh, Burnett Falls, I believe it's called. Yep, Burnett Falls. Yeah, just outside of Seashell. Let's come here to see some little waterfalls and then we're gonna head in and uh, go to a little cafe, get some cinnamon buns and then head out to the Bricker Cidery, get some ciders and then head back to the ferry. That'll be the day. Bonus today. We weren't really planning on going here, but I was seeing it, seeing it on the maps. Couldn't say no to an extra waterfall. It really feels like we're in like Costa Rica or something right now. Like everything is just so green. We're in like a rainforest with a huge waterfall. It's honestly so beautiful. I think with the rain they've gotten right now, the waterfall is just like going crazy. So it does kind of feel like the world a little bit. I feel like you're in Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> 